on this edition of Murray County Now. Find out some turkey frying safety tips with the Columbia Fire Department. Historic Murray County finishes up its field trip of the Pillow Properties. Get battle ready with Ripa Villa and the 150th anniversary of the Battle of Spring Hill. Find out whose property you can explore on the Murray Christmas Home Tour. And finally, find out how to have a classic Murray County Christmas. All this and more on this edition of Murray County Now. Hello and welcome to Murray County Now. Columbia and Murray County's new show covering the events, ideas, groups and happenings in and around Murray County. Frying a turkey sounds like a great idea for Thanksgiving, but staying safe is most important during the holiday season. Here's Jimmy Elliott with the Columbia Fire Department on how not to cook your goose. My name's Jimmy Elliott. I'm the training chief for the Columbia Fire Department. You know, this time of year, lots of folks are thinking about deep frying their turkey for the holidays. The National Fire Protection Association discourages deep frying turkeys over an open flamed appliance. But if you do decide to fry your turkey this holiday season, here are some safety tips. Avoid oil spillover. Don't overfill your pot. Turn the flame off before lowering the turkey into the oil. Fry outside, away from your home. Properly thaw your turkey before frying. Never attempt to deep fry a frozen turkey and keep a grease fire approved extinguisher close by. Never fry your turkey over a wooden deck or close to your home. There are lots of things you need to consider before attempting that. It is a delicious alternative, but it could always go wrong. And if it does go wrong, first call 911. Make sure everyone is out of the home and we'll be there as quick as we can to provide whatever help we can to you. If you have any questions, please call us at the Columbia Fire Department, 560-1700. We're here to help. Adam Southern's joyride around the county ends with a visit to the final pillow property. Get ready for the field trip on this edition of Historic Murray County. Hello, I'm Adam Southern, and this is another exciting edition of Historic Murray County. And today we're going to continue our tour of the Grand Pillow places in Murray County, and we're at the home of Jerome Pillow known today as Bethel Place. Please join us as we take a look around. Bethel Place is another fine example of the craftsmanship of Nathan Vault. Vault was commissioned by Jerome Bonaparte Pillow in 1855 to build this magnificent home. Nathan Vault wrote in his memoirs, Youth and Old Age, in 1855, we built a large two-story brick dwelling house, a fine portico on the front, back porches, servant house and kitchen, also carriage house and stables. All the above buildings was brick. Also quite a quantity of fine cedar rail fencing. All of the above work was done for JB Pillow. Bethel Place faces Mount Pleasant Pike, but is far enough from the road where you cannot see it. It is said that before Jerome Pillow built this magnificent home, he and his wife Elvira lived directly across Mount Pleasant Pike in a home that has since been torn down. The reason that we call the home Bethel Place and not Pillow Place is because Jerome Pillow's daughter Cynthia married Captain William Decatur Bethel. William is the same Bethel that established and built the Bethel House Hotel in Columbia. The Bethels lived here after the Civil War and their name became the one attached to the home. After they moved to Memphis, the old home was still called Bethel Place as we call it today. Of the outbuildings at Bethel Place, the plantation office is possibly the most beautiful. It sits to the left of the main home and features wooden teardrop overhang and Moorish Gothic arched windows. Over the years, this building has been added onto to make this a full residence. This home is very similar to the Pillow Halliday home that we toured earlier. One thing to note is that Bethel Place was built on a larger scale. Granville Pillow, builder of the Pillow Halliday house, was the youngest brother. Therefore, he more than likely inherited less than his brothers and built a smaller home. Jerome Pillow, builder of Bethel Place, was the middle son and inherited more, thus building a larger home than his younger brother. Bethel Place is privately owned by the descendants of the Pillow family. This concludes our tour of the Pillow Homes. Join us next time as we look at Christmases long ago in Murray County. Come see me at the library. The 150th anniversary of the Battle of Spring Hill is right around the corner at Ripavilla. 
Mercury now has the exclusive to the battlefield. Hello, I'm Corinne Tomlinson. I'm on the board at Ripa Villa Plantation, and I would like to extend an invitation to the community to come out and join us for the 150th commemoration of the Battle of Spring Hill. It will be held here at Ripa Villa Plantation on November 28th through the 30th. The event starts at 5 p.m. on the 28th and will end at 1 on the 30th. Hello, my name is Tammy Hatcher. I want to tell you a little bit about what's going to happen um, at the reenactment. We are going to have a dance. It will be in the parking lot of Ripa Villa. Um, it will start at 7 and be over at 10. Um, spectators can watch, but if you want to participate in the dances, you must dress, period. And the dance will be hosted by the 1861 Girls School Association. We also have a traveling exhibit brought to us by the Tennessee State Museum, and it will be on display through the reenactment uh, and through December 1st. My name is Don Gibson. I'm a historic interpreter docent here at Ripavella Plantation. Uh, Ripavella had commissioned uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Company to produce a commemorative knife. And we had 150 knives produced by the company. Uh, on Saturday the 29th at approximately 2 p.m., we will have an auction of the number one and the number 150 knife. We have already pre-sold all of the other knives but at approximately two o'clock, we will have an auction on the number one and the number 150. It is a case double X knife, a very nice knife. It, it's in a commemorative box with the uh, 150th logo uh, burned in or lasered into the top of the box. And we would like everyone to, uh, to know about that. We'd love to have you out and participate in, in the auction. I think it's important, especially for young people, to understand our history the cultural differences between then and now uh, are, are very different and um, it's just good for children and adults to, to understand the um, importance of our history and, and knowing what came before us. Join us on Friday starting at 5 o'clock. We will have an illumination of the battlefield. We, there, we had a thousand casualties on the battlefield and there will be a candle for each one. We will also have a night firing of the cannons. That's very unusual. Spectators, we expect to enjoy that. We will have, the mansion will be open for uh, tours as well. We will have it lit by candlelight. In the courtyard, while you're waiting for your tour, we have the Nashville Streams will be performing for us. Then on Saturday, we will have demonstrations. We will also, of course, have the reenactment on the battlefield. Uh, the campsites will be open for you to visit and see the soldiers. We will also have the mansion still open for tours. And in the house, you will see a medical exhibit as well as an exhibit by the Tennessee State Traveling Museum. Join us on Sunday morning and meet General Hood, who will be at the mansion. Also, we will have another reenactment on Sunday morning for the Battle of Franklin and lead into that battle and we hope you come out and join us. All of our information can be found at www.ripavilla.org. We'll be back with more Murray County Now after this. Once every three hours a fire death occurs in America. 80% of these deaths could be prevented with a working smoke alarm. Hi, I'm Lee Bergeron, Chief of the Columbia Fire Department. The men and women of Columbia Fire Department would like for you to have a working smoke alarm in your home. We have a program that if you call 931-560-1700, our men and women will come and place a working smoke alarm in your residence. We know by doing this, this helps make you safer and makes our city a safer place to work and live. These smoke alarms are brought to us on a grant by Governor Haslam and Commissioner Julie McPeak. Their goal is to place 20,000 working smoke alarms in residence in Tennessee. We know and they know by doing this, we can help save lives and prevent the young and the elderly from perishing in fires. Thank you very much. We're back with more Murray County Now on PowerNet 13. Our Christmas episode starts early with a sneak peek at this year's Murray Christmas Home Tour. Here's Kayla Southern, Chair of the Home Tour, about what you'll be able to see this holiday season. Hi, I'm Kayla Southern, Murray County APTA Home Tour Chair. 
This year's tour dates are December 5th and 6th and is honoring Nathan Vault, Murray County's master builder. Nathan Vault built more homes in Murray County than any other man and many of the beautiful antebellum homes that still stand in Murray County today, he had a hand in their construction. The Athenaeum, Elm Springs, First United Methodist, and the Cook Harlan home are all examples of his work and are all featured on this year's tour. We're also really thrilled to announce that Haynes Haven is on this year's tour. Haynes Haven is now owned by General Motors and has not been open to the public for 19 years. We will also be having a downtown walking tour on Saturday, December the 6th at 11, 12, and 1. On this tour, we're going to stop at many sites and homes that are connected to Nathan Vault, not open to the public. And on this tour, you're going to hear really interesting tales about downtown Columbia, one about Nathan Bedford Forest, and you're going to find out which two famous outlaws spent the night in downtown Columbia. The Athenaeum is also very excited to announce our collectible Christmas ornament. Ornaments are glass with one of our featured homes etched in. And this year's inaugural ornament is celebrating Haynes Haven. Ornaments are $15 a piece and may be purchased at the Athenaeum. This tour is important because it showcases Murray County's beautiful homes and history and all the proceeds of this tour benefit the Athenaeum Rectory, which is in need of a restoration. Just a reminder, tour dates and times are Friday, December 5th, 12 to 6, and Saturday, December 6th, 9 to 5. Tickets are $25 per person and may be purchased at the Athenaeum at 808 Athenaeum Street. For more information, please call 931-381-4822 or check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash murraychristmas. Hope to see everyone out on the tour. This holiday season kicks off with a whole bunch of exciting events around Murray County. Find out about the tree lighting and events going on with the classic Murray County Christmas. Hi, I'm Robin Graham and I'm here today to talk to you about a classic Murray County Christmas, Christmas tree lighting. I'm part of the Christmas tree committee that was started last year. This year, we're glad to have members of the Columbia Noon Rotary and the Columbia Breakfast Rotary join our committee as we bring the community a Christmas tree lighting again this year. The Christmas tree lighting will be held on Saturday, November 29th at 5.30 p.m. The focus of the tree lighting is to bring festivity to our downtown area. If you haven't been downtown lately, you are in for a surprise. There's new businesses opening all the time and activity going on throughout the week and the weekends. We want to make sure that as you shop local, eat local, and support local, that you have a festive activity and an environment to do so in. And so that is the main purpose of the community Christmas tree. Uh, at 5.30, we will begin the program uh, and will be entertained by area singers and musicians. Uh, we'll also be visited by Santa and at the end of the program, we will be led in community Christmas carols and crowd-led carols by members of the King's Daughter School student body. We're very excited to be able to do that. Uh, we'll also this year have snow. We, we will assure you it will snow on November 29th, uh, provided by Froggy's Fog of Columbia, Tennessee. This year, they are going to stick around and make sure that it snows for about 30 minutes after the tree is lit allowing community members, families, and individuals to take pictures with the tree in the snow, great Christmas card pictures, and remembrance of a fun event. We hope that this event will bring memories to our children just like it has brought to us for all of these many years. So we hope to see you on Saturday, November 29th, 5.30, right here on the square in downtown Columbia as we flip the lights and light up the square with our Christmas tree. For more information, please visit our Facebook page, A Classic Murray County Christmas. Hi, I'm Sonia Lynn Dixon Ryan with Murray County Parks and Recreation, and you're getting a sneak peek of Santa's cabin in Murray County Park. Santa and his elves will be here each Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from December 4th until December 20th. This is the complete Santa experience. You'll be able to write a letter to Santa and mail it directly to the North Pole. We're gonna have all kind of goodies to share and you can have your pictures made with Santa for $7. Just pay for one picture and then moms and dads, aunts and uncles, you can make all of the pictures you care to make with your camera. This is the fifth year that Santa has made the cabin in Murray County Park his home for Columbia, Tennessee and the surrounding area. Santa sneaks in just before Christmas, but each year he throws a big party here at the cabin. This year the party will be on Saturday, December the 6th. 
The party will begin at one o'clock with a bicycle tricycle parade. Santa is gonna bring up the rear of the parade in a fire truck, but be here about 12.30, have your bicycles and tricycles and wagons decorated, and you can participate in the parade. Have lots of goodies. I think we'll have face painting, some arts and crafts will be here, arts and crafters will be here. Um, lots of fun things to do. We're very excited that Santa's Cabin is once again a part of a classic Murray County Christmas. For more information on Santa's Cabin, please give us a call here at Murray County Park, 931-375-6103. Thank you and have a very Merry Christmas. To find out more information about any of the stories you've seen on this edition of Murray County Now, check out our website at murraycountynow.com and look in the show notes for more details. Murray County Now is produced by Columbia TNTV. Make sure to keep up with Murray County Now on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Murray County Now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.